Ever wonder how you can transform your garden into a vibrant year-round haven? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to a world where we blend the fleeting beauty of annuals with the enduring charm of perennials to create a canvas that's lively throughout the year. Imagine a garden that's not just a feast for your eyes but also a sanctuary for your soul. A place where each season brings a new spectacle of colors, textures, and fragrances. This isn't just a dream, it's a reality that's within your reach. The secret? It's all about the right blend of annuals and perennials. These are the two main categories of flowering plants that garden enthusiasts swear by. Annuals, as their name suggests, complete their life cycle in one year. They bloom, produce seeds, and then die off, leaving behind a treasure trove of seeds for the next generation. On the other hand, perennials are the loyal friends of your garden. They stick around for many years, hibernating in winter and springing back to life when the conditions are right. Both of these plant types have their unique beauties and benefits, and knowing how to combine them is the key to having a garden that thrives across seasons. But how do you do that? Well, that's exactly what we're here to explore. We'll delve into the world of garden design principles, focusing on the interplay of color, texture, and seasonality. We'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on selecting and planting a balanced mix of annuals and perennials, and we'll share some tried and tested tips on soil preparation, spacing, and care requirements. So whether you're a seasoned gardener or a newbie with a green thumb, there's something here for everyone. We promise that by the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and inspiration you need to transform your garden into a year-round paradise. Ready to dive in? Great, let's start with the basics. Start with... Before we start designing, it's important to understand the two stars of our garden, annuals and perennials. So, what are annuals and perennials? These terms refer to the life cycle of plants. Annuals are plants that complete their life cycle in just one growing season, from seed to flower and back to seed again, all in the space of a few months. Think of your summer marigolds, your vibrant zinnias, or your kitchen herbs like basil and dill. These are all examples of annuals. They bloom beautifully, giving us a riot of colors and textures, but their glory is somewhat fleeting. Once they've set seed, their job is done, and they die off. On the other side of the garden, we have perennials. These are the stalwarts, the long-term residents of your garden. Perennials are plants that live for more than two years. They might not bloom as quickly or as extravagantly as annuals, but they return year after year, providing continuity and stability. Your roses, your hostas, your daylilies, these are all perennials. They form the backbone of your garden providing structure and often greenery throughout the year. Now both these types of plants have their own charm and benefits. Annuals, with their quick growth and vibrant blooms, are perfect for filling gaps, adding instant color and attracting pollinators. They're also great if you like to change up your garden theme each year. Perennials, with their reliable return, offer a sense of familiarity and consistency. They tend to require less maintenance than annuals, as they don't need to be replanted each year. Plus, many perennials have the added bonus of being able to divide and spread them around your garden, or even share with friends. In our garden design, we'll be incorporating both annuals and perennials. They each bring something unique to the table, and it's their combination that will give our garden a sense of dynamism, variety, and longevity. Now that we know our key players, let's move on to the fun part, designing our garden. Designing a garden is like painting a picture, but instead of paint, we use plants. Yes, a garden is a living canvas where the artist's palette comprises of diverse hues of flowers, the textures of leaves, and the rhythm of seasons. Let's delve into three key principles of garden design, color, texture, and seasonality. Each of these plays a pivotal role in creating a garden that's not just visually appealing, but also an environment that changes and grows with time. Color is the soul of the garden setting the mood and tone. It's not simply about choosing your favorite colors, but more about understanding color theory. Similar to a painter's color wheel, we have a garden color wheel. Warm colors like reds, oranges, and yellows tend to pop out, drawing attention and creating a vibrant, energetic feeling. Cool hues like blues, greens, and purples on the other hand recede, evoking a sense of calm and depth. Next, we have texture, the visual surface characteristics of a plant. Texture adds a tactile dimension to your garden, creating a sense of depth and contrast. Broad glossy leaves of a hosta, for example, against the fine, feathery fronds of a fern, create an engaging interplay of textures that's a treat for the eyes. Lastly, we touch upon the principle of seasonality. A well-planned garden thrives across seasons with a succession of blooms from spring to fall. This is where the magic of annuals and perennials comes into play. 
By layering plants with different bloom times, you can ensure your garden is a riot of colors throughout the year. To illustrate these principles, imagine a garden as a stage, with every plant a performer playing their part in the grand drama of seasons. The key is balance, warm and cool colors, rough and smooth textures, early and late bloomers, all harmoniously arranged in a symphony of life and color. With these design principles in mind, we can now start building our garden. Remember, much like any art form, garden design is subjective, it's an ongoing journey of discovery, where the joy lies not just in the destination but in the journey itself. Roll up your sleeves, it's time to get our hands dirty. Choosing the right blend of annuals and perennials is like creating a symphony of color, texture, and timing. Start by selecting a mix that complements each other in terms of color, height, and blooming period. Remember it's about striking a balance that suits your garden and personal style. Now, on to the planting. First, let's talk about soil preparation. The key to a thriving garden is nutrient-rich, well-drained soil. If your soil is too sandy or clayey, consider adding organic matter like compost. This improves the soil structure, making it easier for plant roots to grow. Next, let's discuss spacing. Giving your plants enough room to grow is essential. Overcrowding can lead to poor air circulation, which can encourage diseases. As a rule of thumb, space your plants according to their mature size, not their size at the time of planting. Now we're ready to plant. Dig a hole that's twice as wide as the root ball of your plant and just as deep. Place the plant in the hole, making sure the top of the root ball is level with the soil surface. Backfill the hole, firming the soil gently around the plant. Water thoroughly to settle the soil and eliminate air pockets. Post-planting care is crucial. Water your garden based on the needs of your plants. Most annuals and perennials prefer a good soak a couple of times a week rather than daily light watering. Remember to mulch around your plants to conserve moisture and suppress weeds. Don't forget to feed your plants. A slow-release fertilizer applied in the spring will provide nutrients throughout the growing season and always keep an eye out for pests and diseases. Early detection and action can save your garden, and there you have it, your very own vibrant year-round garden. Remember, the beauty of gardening is that it's an art, not a science. Don't be afraid to experiment and learn as you grow. Happy gardening! Now that you've created your garden, we'd love to see it. Gardens are personal pieces of art, each one unique and beautiful in its own way. We're sure you've poured your heart and soul into creating a space that not only thrives across all seasons but also resonates with your personal aesthetic. And what's art if not shared and appreciated, right? So go on, don't be shy. Share your garden photos with us. We're eager to see the magic you've cultivated with your own two hands. And it's not just about showing, it's about telling too. We believe in the power of community and shared knowledge. If you've discovered a handy tip or trick while planting your annuals and perennials, do share it in the comments. Who knows, your insight might be the solution to a fellow gardener's problem. Let's cultivate a community that grows together. And while we're on the topic of growing, how about growing your knowledge further? Have you wondered about companion planting or how to attract pollinators to your garden? Well, these are just some of the topics we'll be covering in our upcoming videos. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. We also believe that the best learning comes from asking. So. Let's get a conversation going. What's your biggest gardening challenge? What's that one plant you've always wanted to grow but haven't yet? What's your favorite garden memory? We're all ears, ready to engage, learn, and grow with you. Remember, gardening is a journey, not a destination. We often find ourselves so focused on the end result that we forget to enjoy the process. Enjoy the feel of the earth beneath your fingers, the scent of blooming flowers, the sight of a butterfly fluttering by. Relish in the simple joys that gardening brings. Keep experimenting, keep learning, and most importantly, keep growing.